Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Jordan here. We're on the golf course to start Brickworld Chicago day three. Having an absolute blast. We're on the 17th hole. All right, Brett. If you get a hole in one, it's a gunship on me, buddy. Oh my gosh. Great shot. Now that we finished up at golf, it's time to hit the show. The first thing we have to do is get some coffees for the boys. So the first thing we uh, decided to check out today at Chicago Rick World 2022 was the Great Ball Contraption. And this was actually a collaborative effort of 40 creators that are obviously really good with mechanical stuff in Lego form. And they made one big Great Ball Contraption. So you can see all the balls going through all these unique builds. It's just fantastic. Uh, they let me behind the stanchion there and we could have a look at the entire thing and there's just so many unique you know spinning items or moving components that sort of work these balls all the way through and i actually really like the little fence that they built around it too using like train track or those specialized plates but you can see there's plant elements there's different colors there's diggers there's more technic than brixie can handle that's for sure and it was just a pleasure to see all of these balls making their way around this huge table, like this big circuit of tables was just incredible. And the fact that the balls essentially started on one side and made their way all the way around was just absolutely fantastic. <laughs> I, I, I really don't even know what to say about this stuff like look at this caterpillar right here that's wild you know what it's funny as we as i watch this stuff and do a voiceover of it i actually see you know more stuff than what i actually saw there because i'm seeing it for like the second or the third time and you saw like a bunch of train track back there what happened was is the balls actually got loaded into a train and then they drove over here and and dumped it in you'll see that train car coming now so it's all connected, whether it be by train track or uh, moving components or look at the brick separator right there, just sort of putting balls on either side. And just like the mechanics and everything behind this, just leave me honestly speechless. It is phenomenal. And of course, it's pretty loud in the convention right now. There's a lot of background noise because, I mean, it's one big busy place. I was lucky enough to get behind the stanchion to uh, film this video here. Looks like there's a brick built wizard there, too. <laughs> I like that. That's cool. Uh, but yeah, just incredible. Like, yeah, there's some night stuff. You can see the balls rolling through the castle here. And then the way they went up that tower there was pretty phenomenal. And then they got brought up on like big chains and went down sort of like a Plinko thing. It is just absolutely crazy. Also, look at all these wheels, and they s sort of move Pretty these awesome. glass panels and transport the balls over to this thing, and it's like a snake winding through this thing here. It's just crazy. This was one of the things that we could just sit there and look at all day because, I don't know, it's just so cool, you know? Even on this one here, there was this car that sort of drove around and pushed the balls into the next area there. And then there's like that big wheel that brings them onto the next area. And I actually have some footage of this lit up as well. So you'll see some of that footage all lit up. I thought this one was really cool. They're all sort of like the same thing, but they're all interconnected. Those wheels are spinning and they're bringing the balls through, but they're all sort of like a collaborative effort. It showed who built each one. I think each person built a different one. Like I said, uh, there's actually 40 people involved in this collaborative effort to make the great ball contraption. And these balls can go way up top here, 
which is really cool. And then I cross this bridge and then down the spiral right here. I like that when it goes down the spiral and then and then onto the next contraption. And back up they go. <laughs> and down another spiral. Through the uh, the loop too. That was incredible going through the loop. There's a minion there too. I never saw that when I was there. I wonder how many soccer balls they have here. This one's neat. It's like a ski lift. That'd actually be a good technique to use for a lift or some sort of ski lift if we wanted to put one in our city. There's like this giant Ferris wheel too. You can see it's working its way up there. Those red bricks moving the balls up and then they go onto like this giant ferris wheel and they make their way all the way around and then drop down right there they just get sort of knocked off and then onto the next contraption which moves at a pretty quick pace there oh this one is really cool so it goes way up to the top and then it goes down here and it actually can go one of two ways like the ball that is and then makes its way to the next one Oh, there's a big dump there, too. And this sort of slowly brings it up. And then feeds it like that. That's pretty cool. Like, the, the crown usage there to sort of dump those balls is really neat. Using those crowns and that mechanism is really neat. <laughs> All the mechanisms are really neat. I love this one here. It shoots it as well. It shoots it up. And it's like a big scoop. And it's sort of scooping it into the next one. Just the timing of everything was just so perfect. Amazing. And there's a Mario one right here that we're just breezing by. And this is actually where we originally started. There's a uh, Dark Knight scene right there with the tumbler, little mini tumbler. And then a better look at the Mario one right here, sort of shooting the ball through the castle there. And then there's also uh, this one here, which is basketball. It's incredible how accurate it was. And the success rate was actually really good. The other day we saw this here. It's working today, so the train is operating. Now this was a really cool like Death Star scene. There's so many different scenes. It's all lit up, and a lot of it is very witty and very funny. Uh, there was some copyright music here, so I have to delete the music out, but they're having like a party in one of the scenes and there's actually like a screen. You're going to see that in a second. But it's all sorts of different Death Star scenes and you can actually see the Death Ray there or the, the big Death Star Ray, I should say. I love this one too, the Build-A-Bear uh, stuff in Ewoks. There's Homer Simpson's office right there, the nuclear power plant. Uh, just a loading bay there, and this is the party one. So they've got a little iPad set up or something like that. They had music going. They've got lights in the dance floor. <laughs> it's just so funny. I love that. That's so cool. And every single scene was different and had different lighting elements. There's minions. There's all sorts of fantastic stuff. Like look at that uh, X-wing coming through the wall there. There's a hot tub. Uh, just all sorts of different rooms and <laughs> minions more minions I should say you got the turrets on the top that can rotate got like a little spinning ride down here look at that. there's a Death Star there's an X-Wing there's a TIE Fighter got some troll stuff mixed in the hallway with Chewbacca and there's the trash compactor And uh, <laughs> that was funny, that's like Darth Vader, the creation of Darth Vader, uh, like a chapel it looks like, somebody was getting married there, wrestling ring, that was Jar Jar in there, a hot dog stand, <laughs> just the amount of creativity that went into this, it was a lot of fun. And the Death Star Ray is there, and there's actually, they're putting like the, the cap on it right there, there's a crane that's holding it. And I think the funnest one was definitely the dance floor. I love how they had the iPad worked into it. I thought it was just a party. I enjoyed this cityscape right here, which was done by Klug, I believe. There's a cool looking car dealership there. Also some medieval stuff there. Actually, that's all the medieval castles and also uh, the blacksmiths. So 
we could do some of those because I believe some of them are unbreakable. And I also really like the harbor that they have here with the large lighthouse, the pirate ships, the monkey kid ship, and uh, just the water looks really good. It's a good combination of studs and uh, tiles. We've got some modular buildings mixed in with some custom modular buildings like the toy shop, also a large Harley like City School over here. It's actually bigger than ours, it looks like. Uh, but yeah, just a nice little cityscape here that I uh, really enjoyed looking at for sure. And this train setup right here was amazing. This was part of Empire Lug, and they got the trains operational here today. I love looking at this area here with all of the different landscapes, the large Technic bridges, definitely gathering a lot of inspiration from this booth over here because there is some amazing trees, water detail, rock detail, and moving trains as well. It just looks simply incredible and i just cannot wait to maybe make some trees of that scale and and improve our landscaping detail just based on the look of some of these landscapes at this table right here for sure these trains look pretty amazing as well look at all of those uh tank cars and box cars and also look at the train moving right now as well it's cruising along at a pretty good pace that thing there has quite a few cars and look at the length of some of the trains on this table here with all of those uh, gondolas like the gondola cars and it just looks amazing so i love seeing the different train lines with all the ballast track and just thing just zooming along was just awesome i love looking at all of the professional lego trains at this show so many different uh, locomotives and different styles of cars and it was just a real treat to see for sure All right, we purchased our first set. Bought this little house right here, which is gonna look great in the residential area. And you know what? We got it for 65 bucks, so I thought that was a pretty good deal. So we actually went to a medieval times. It's like this medieval dinner. Get to eat like barbarians, and we had so much fun there. Check this out. This is Brixie material. Yeah, it's like nice. When we got back from medieval times, they actually had the lights off in the hall. And of course, we were able to go in there and check it all out. So there's some trains zooming around this cityscape right here. There's some modular buildings and there's some massive skyscrapers as well. This setup was absolutely amazing. We spent quite a bit of time hanging out here, just checking out the amazing lights and the amazing trains, just cruising around. Also, I love the Eiffel Tower there with uh, the different lights. It's fantastic. This was a lot of fun. We spent a lot of time just sitting here checking out this thing uh, during the night show. Uh, There's a lot of cool stuff, including this dumpster right here, the 2020 dumpster fire in the Marvel area. Also, I really got a lot of inspiration from this roller coaster setup right here. It's actually on the harbor. And the great ball contraption that we were looking at earlier had some uh, glow-in-the-dark balls. So they actually swapped out the balls so that they glow in the dark. And there's also a lot of lights in the great ball contraption as well. It wasn't completely lit, and obviously the camera doesn't do a great job of picking up all of the things that you can see at night, even when the lights are on, but it was super cool coming here at night and seeing everything lit up. It really was one of the highlights of the show, especially this Rogue One scene right here with Darth Vader walking through the hallway. Just a fantastic scene from Rogue One that I love. <laughs> And then we've got the uh, bay right here with the ATSTs all lit up as well. 
Back to the daytime, look at this uh, Batman style locomotives and also train car. It's got uh, a lots of different cool train cars on that one there. And this is uh, back at the other table. Got all the uh, gondola cars fired up here with the locomotive. And look at that, it's sort of like train sliding. Like it's some of the car or the train wheels are on the other track, so it's all ziggy zaggy. I thought that was a lot of fun. And it was just going around like that casually, just all ziggy zaggy, just not not proper but looking hilarious and <laughs> I just thought that was so neat that thing never ends man and this the length of this thing is just ridiculous this art is just really cool it didn't look like this when you saw it in person only through the look of a camera does it look 3d check out this lego technic dewalt chainsaw it's actually moving and what a crazy build that is Remember that thing that was all lit up, the Eiffel Tower? Well, this is that scene during the day. Uh, I love this cityscape. The guys were always there working on it, improving it, uh, changing things up even during the show, and you could tell they are just so passionate about making a really cool cityscape, and this was definitely one of the best here in at Brickwell Chicago, but don't discredit all the other ones because they also have moving trains, large bridges, large buildings, all sorts of trees, all sorts of landscaping detail, such as this one here. And it's definitely one of the ones that represented a larger layout with larger buildings and actually won one of the best train layouts as well. And yeah, just the movement really brings these cities to life. Check out this Boba Fett 3D sort of style art with all the different part usage. It's crazy. Look at these guys. <laughs> And of course, we've got more trains here. I really like the look of this one. They use the nose of a airplane cruising around this trainscape here. And look at the castle there and all of these beautiful trees with all of the colors. Just absolutely stunning. And you know what? This is about the last thing. So this is uh, the last thing we're having a look at in this vlog here. We saw lots of great stuff and this is where we wrap it up. Remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for some more great stuff. Thanks for popping on by. Farewell.